diamond in the rough and no diamond painting today. Where's the mat? How you all doing? Okay, a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to attempt a couple of different things, but one of the things that I will say right at the beginning, if you like any of what I pour today, with the exception of the first couple of um, items that I'm going to demold, um, if there's anything you like, let me know. Go onto my Facebook page and send me a message and um, we'll see what we can do. I will say though, I do have what I'm about to demold is um, two part epoxy resin, which is, takes a lot longer to set. Um, so I can't show those working on those, but I can do the demolding on camera. Now these are special items and um, very special items. That looks a bit horrible on the back. There is a reason for that. Okay, that and this one here. Ta-da! So I have actually made my own silicon moulds to do the drill to make drill trays and trash trays. Okay, so we'll demold this guy first. This was a special pour. I'm doing this one for one particular person in person. In particular person in mind, I was messaging her yesterday, and <laughs> here you go. <laughs> if you're watching this now, you know what else is going to be in your package. Um, and I asked her what her favorite color is now my, this is I always struggle to get these out when they're pointy bits they hurt the fingers if you're not careful hang on while I stretch this out they do come out they just take a bit of effort um, okay so here we go we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there Okay, there we go, and now for the dragon tails. But yeah, I asked her what her favourite colours were because I'm already sending her something. And she said purple and blue, and I said, okay, well, I'm going to send you something. And um, she told me I didn't have to, and I know I don't have to, but I like to be able to see what I can do with resin. So what I did do, whoops, I'm... Um, <laughs> I was lifting you up to my other camera. What I did do is, so these are, this is a purple and blue, and it can be used as a wax caddy. And what I do need to do with these is trim these off and sand them back. But what happens with these is the two part epoxy resin, I have to, for this one, I have to let it semi set and then push it down. But that is the dragon. Okay, good old silicon. Right, let's move these. That will just need to be, when I've finished, I will need to trim it up, which will only take scissors, and sand it a bit, which doesn't take that long. So that's one. I can, I can do these with UV resin, but I'm never happy to do them with UV resin. Just, I don't think that they're strong enough. Um, some of these things need stronger. Uh, so this one here, all of these used, I used two colours and bear with me while I pull this out because these are fun to pull out and they come out and they come out bendy. Okay, and then they come out and set. So this one before I can pack it up, uh, let me trim this these edges up. Before, oops, here we go. So before I send this out, I've got to let this set. What do we think? Two different colours. The purple and the blue. And I put the moons in there. And that has the magnet. Um, just, hang on, I'll find a magnet. I have magnets on my desk. Oops, there goes one flying. And they just stick to each other. Okay, and the magnet goes underneath as well. And that sits as a cover minder and a trash tray. So that's two. 
I I am actually going to do a pour of a of the smaller trays, but the big tray I feel like needs two part epoxy resin. Okay, so we're going to demold this one. What do you think of it before I even demold? Okay, <laughs> and this is where the fun process is. I have to get it up. Can you hear that? Oh, bugger. <laughs> and look at how wonky that is. That will actually get back to its normal size of bright pattern. Okay, so here we go. Uh, just so you can see what I'm looking at, I do have a couple of air bubbles. So they are, I um, don't think I'm ever going to get rid of air bubbles. But here we go. We have a couple of moons, a couple of stars in there. So that'll now, I'll need to let that set. I need to tidy up the ends. But what do you think? If you guys are interested in something like this, please let me know. I am going to give it a go, more goes with this. Um, I'm not always 100% happy with these, but um, I think most people are. These are pretty cool. So these are coming your way, Michelle, when they are set. They will be in the box that I send you. Okay, so guys, what do you think? Is that something you guys would be interested in? Um, yeah, so I need to put that one aside a bit. So that's just a simple demold of two-part epoxy resin. I poured that 12 hours ago um, using Sophie and Toffee two-part epoxy resin. Um, hang on a sec. I just went and got um, the two-part epoxy resin so that I could show you the Sophie and Toffee crystal epoxy resin, which is a ratio of one to one by weight. Um, this is really good for the smaller jobs. I The bigger stuff that I do, I use um, art resin, two-part epoxy, which is actually done by volume. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a couple of pours, a couple of UV resins just with, <laughs> yeah, I tried making them fancy. It just didn't really work because that was part of a heart <laughs> somewhere along the line. <laughs> just didn't work for me, um, not properly. But what I'm going to do is a couple of drill trays and a couple of trash trays. So you get to see how they're made. Um, and with these, if there's any of these that you like, let me know. Um, I'm going to put that one aside. I'll work on this one. So I work on one set. Um, the question is, what do I put inside? These ones are magnets. I've had to go sort. Oh, it's amazing trying to source magnets. But these guys, I've actually gone and sourced these smaller magnets. I do have thicker magnets. Um, here, but these, oh no, I will, I will put it in there, yep, I will do the thicker ones, they'll be fine, clunk, uh, I will do one with the thicker mag, one with the thinner magnet, so you can see the difference, where did I put my resin, okay, there it is, for moulds, and... Do I do two toned? I'll do one that's a single tone so they're a matching set. Um, I won't I won't put sorry, I am thinking very hard about what I'm gonna do. How am I gonna do it? Um, I'm gonna tint these. And then I'm going to put some decorations in the tent. Now with these, because of the way they are, I won't put glitter in these trays. The glitter actually interferes with the ridges. Glitter's okay in these, but not in these. It affects the ridges. 
So this is all play it by ear. Silicon cups. Uh, do I want to colour it or what colour do I want to give it? I can give I can put mica powder in it, but I don't think I will. Okay. What are we gonna go with? I'm gonna Hang on a sec, I will get mica powder. Uh, I will tint this. So mica powder is a very fine powder. Very fine powder. It's generally used for, this one is a soap dye. Okay. And I've, oops, did you see that puff of smoke? Okay. Mix that around. So this is just a UV resin and it uh, ends up with a metallic look. Now, silicon cups. These are just... These are just baking cupcake moulds. Why do I use these? We all know. Well, not we all know. Silicon moulds, uh, silicon and resin comes off really well. Okay, so this is going to be a solid colour, which means there's no embellishments will go in there, no need for embellishments. But I think I'm going to need more resin in there. And I am using Sophie and Cop Toffee, the one that is for, uh, for use with silicon moulds. I do need to pop some more resin in there though. So both of these trays, the drill tray and the trash tray will be the one colour with no fancy embellishments. Okay, there is some bubbles in there. Now, uh, Pippa, if you're watching this, bubbles are the, it's to pop the bubbles. Um, some don't need to be popped. The great thing about the silicon cupcake is the ability to pour it. on that just to get it to set a little bit before I put it under the resin mold resin thing oops yep it just that just sets it a little bit where I can 
here we go and you can see the glow of the lamp these are actually set they're still a bit sticky and I've got an air bubble in one of them okay which I'll need to seal up okay so here we go we demold these these are really easy to demold there we go there I wipe that down just to get that little bit of resin that's residue that's there that will now sit and dry out till the next time I do a resin pour okay so what I've ended up with in this one I've actually do have an air bubble so that one will need a bit of a, um, a just a resin fill uh, now this one that's and you see how flexible these are I actually have to you can see me bending it so that one that one's actually pretty that one's really firm but you can see unfortunately because this one's got the thicker magnet you can really see it this is why I want to use a thin magnet on these ones I'm just cleaning that roll down a bit but there we go um, oops, that one's set let's start it off again two drill trays they will need to set a bit more in the sun I will need to just put a dash of resin in there just to fill that hole with that little imperfection um, where is my sorry guys just looking for my phone which is not here um, I will take a couple of pictures of these so that you can actually see what they look like there we go. So next one. Now these are just straight out flat cover minders. These are what you call open bezels. Here we go. This is the bezels. These are the open bezels. So these will be coloured in with UV resin. I have transparent. So yet again, I'm using Sophie and Topic. I'm actually loving their stuff hang on let's see what I can do about getting this to focus for you um, so we're going to try and focus on that there we go Sophie and Toffee pink resin UV 2 to 10 minute tie with the UV light 10 to 30 sunlight 30 to 60 so this is where, <laughs> keep away from open flame, <laughs> using well ventilated room, use gloves, glasses and apron. Proper storage temperature is uh, 32 to 88 Fahrenheit. How's that? There we go. All right, so these are, what I do with these is I fill these with resin um, and then on the back side I put a tint tint to them I put a solid color to them if I think they need it but when I do that I will turn around and put um, the magnet on the back at that stage
these have just spent probably about a minute so you watch me create these guys now what I'm going to do is take the backing off so these are not a hundred percent set but they're pretty close to oh, here we go I did end up getting uh, out the opaque resin ones as well to add to the color okay and this is why this one side sticky it's just easier to pull off the resin lots of the um, bezels. Next step for these is I was going to put a black background on them but I don't think they need it they look pretty cool like that. What I am going to do is I'm just going to UV resin the back of these that is the back oh I missed one which color is that one hmm hey up put up the tape there it is there it was one of the opaque I think it was the red that's got to be filled in okay uh, pop that back down it was the <gasps> Here we go. Hot pink in there, and we'll put the hot pink on there. I'll just pop that one in there in the UV just for a bit longer. Okay, so I did end up using some of my opaque colours, which is why you will see that there that's opaque solid color I uh, put the black on still a bit touchy all right so turn these over what I need to do is put the thin magnets hang on <laughs> I did that one there we go I need to go with the thin magnets to put on the back So what I need to do from here is the go away tape. The what I do here is oh, just put the magnets on with a thin <laughs> resin. Okay, so this is where. Let's see if I can get a focus for you. So this is just the UV resin, the thin type. Um, these are really good for, um, don't, well not doming, but uh, in a way sealing stuff.
So these have come out out of the resin UV light magic thing. So the, now we have the magnets on the back. What I want to do is, what you'll see is, um, if I turn it, you might be able to see that they're not all 100% the same on the top. So what I want to do is dome them. So turn them over and try and get all the tops to be even. <music> go these are now completed and as cover minders just pop the magnet on the back and they are good to go so what I need to do is these will go on to I actually have container lids <laughs> and what I do is I sit these on container lids uh, so that then they can, I can move them easily. My window still is as wide as these lids, so which is really, really handy. But what I will do is, um, six magnets. Oops. What I'm going to do with the six big magnets. Two, four, six. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, so then from here, what I do is I set them up in their pairs. Oh, golly gosh, come on, magnets. These are really strong magnets. Oops, and I. Right, yeah. I've got one on that one. I need one on that one. I need one on that bottom one. And one on that top one. One on that one. And one on that one. So now I have, <laughs> goes to show, <laughs> this keeps them all together. For my next magic trick, I'm working on shaker moulds um, that can, instead of, like what I've done, this one here. So this is a cover minder that I've put my wax caddy in, but it can be done. It is generally they these are generally done as a shaker mold. So which is what I'm going to do in here. These ones here will be the are the perfect ones for glitter because the glitter is self-contained in all of this. So what I'm using here is the clear mod resin mold for uh, this is the Sophie and Toffee UV resin for use with silicon molds. Um, most of these I'll put the same glitter in these as a base for a couple of these.
Next stages. These guys are set, so I'm going to demold them. Demold the simple one first. So this is the clear heart. This star. Okay. Put them away for washing. I always clean my molds uh, warm soapy water. Okay, the cat coming up nicely. Okay, the star now. The star is one of the special molds that goes with the. Okay, we pop that out like that. And the star also has that bit there which sits in there. We do the move the cat that way. What I will do is once these are out, demolded, I will put these back in to make sure that they are fully set. Okay, there's the bottom heart part of that heart. Oh. Um, before I do the shaker mold side of things, that comes the teddy bear. How cool are these looking? The icy pole. I see Paul takes a little bit more to get out. There we go. And I don't know what this is. But it's cool. Now what I do have, something very special baking in the background. But from here, these guys will go back in. I will set these guys back in. I want these 100% set. They're still a little bit resiny. Um, so what I might do is I might put these just on the sun, in the sun, um, and I'll continue recording doing this process a little bit later. I think we'll see how we go. But this is one. This is a different resin that I'm using. And I think this is set. Can never. T uh, the, I, I don't know whether this is set or not because it is such a different resin. Oh, oh wow. Okay, cool. Um, it's a gummy resin, so it is squishable. <laughs> but that's set. Okay, so I'm going to leave these go for a bit, let these set for a bit longer, and then um, come back to you when they are set, and we will turn these into shaker molds for cover minders. Rightio guys, these are now set. Um, I have grabbed my um, shaker sheet material, my plastic, some um, coated on two sides protecting it. The heart, so the gummy heart has set and his gummy, he's cute. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's going to be... Um, an interesting one. That's going to be, that's an addition onto my my side of things. I'll be using that one. Um, I'm not giving that one. Not getting rid of that one at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I love the gummy resins. I'm really impressed with the gummy resins. Shaker molds. We put stuff in them. We seal them, and then uh, we put stuff in them. We seal them, and then we fill them with oil. So first things first, what I'm looking at is what I'm going to put in them. This one here is only small. Um, and now I've got what I've got, I've got all sorts of little accessories and bits and pieces um, that I can put in them. But I don't want to put much in that one. I'm looking at... No, I don't want those. Some micro balls I think I might put in. Yeah, I just might think I might just go with the micro balls in that one.
and I'm going to only put in the microbeads, the blue and pink microbeads. I think those need to go in as a, under a funnel. Okay, there's blue, pink. Um, I might put a couple of gold pieces of something in there. What am I going to put in there? I think what I might do is a couple of butterflies. Where is it? There we go. This pen has actually quite come in quite handy. I'll put a couple of butterflies in there. If I can get it to pick it up. Hang on. Go. And if you can see a little butterfly there. Okay, I think that'll do it. Okay. So that's those. Um, do I need to put anything else? I think that's sufficient. What I've got here, I just need to grab my tweezers, is the shaker film goes over top and seals up. But I do have a section that I can't seal. Oops. Put a lid on that before I spill anymore. Right, um, for if you're doing shaker moulds, right here, if I come along, you can see this bit here. This is actually the spot where I will put the syringe in. But first things first, I need to battle with the elements. I know, just battle with the plastic. There's a protective coating on both sides of these and I have forgotten to take it off on one of them and oh my gosh, that's one off. It, uh, it doesn't work. It, 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 there is, it has a reaction. Okay, so from here we're using the... I want to make sure we've got this into position. So what I'm going to have to do... I want the tweezers because I can't see it. Pop it that way. Using the what they call the thin type UV resin. Um, let's see if I can get the zoom focus on that one. Okay. And yet again, it's a two to ten minute with UV light. But the Hang on a sec, I forgot one tool. I've actually grabbed two tools. Um, these have got silicon ends on them. They are what I... Okay, so here we go. What I need to do, my aim is shocking. So I put resin down there. Sorry guys. Okay. Put the resin down. Um, where's the hollow there? And then I use this just to put an edge on. So just putting an edge putting resin on the edge. Doesn't need to be much. But what it is, is where this is how you will get it to seal. Okay, I just need to bring it down to my eye level now. Whoops. Too much resin there. And yet again, remembering to stay away from that one little spot. Right, whoops. Now to get this on the right way. So that's just popped on there. I just want to make sure I've got it positioned right where everything's going to be sealed up. Uh, 
and now it's just a case of putting the torch on to set that resin okay I don't think that bit there's set but I still have that hole okay so that's what I'm after what I'm now going to do is what I did previously excuse the dog I'm now going to dome this which will also seal in that colour now we'll need to go with this duty around Okay, and that's all the way up. All right, it's a bit that just didn't look right. Okay, so here we go. I just want to set that. This will need to go under the UV light. Okay, but that is just about done. So I'll pop that under the UV light. And what I will do is pull out all of these guys now. All of these ones. The other two are going to... Um, the other two special ones I will leave as they were. Right here. So what we've got, <laughs> there we go. The beads are in there, so are the butterflies. They're not going to free flow until I put the oil in, which has to go into that hole there with the syringe. And This is where the fun bit begins. Ah. Okay. 
So there is a special craft syringe that I have here. There's not... What's going on? There we go. It is not a, a syringe that you would get from a chemist. Mind in Australia, you actually can't... It's stupid. You can't legally buy a syringe from a pharmacist. Yet, if I was a drug user, that got it. If I was a drug user, I could quite easily go to a there we go, go into a uh, hospital and get a fit pit fit pack. Okay, so now we see whether this is all sealed up or not. But can you see the oil going in? You can see the oil. I can see the oil going in. Okay. Safety first. <laughs> Cover that. Now just a paper towel to make sure no oil on the edge. Got a dollop of resin. Or in that hole. And torch on it to seal it up. Okay. Just getting that oil all the way around and giving it a good shake. Okay. So yeah, one little shaker mould cover minder. Where there's actually Christmas bells and butterflies in there and micro beads. So that'll just need a little bit of a clean up. Um, it will need to sit in the sun to really set properly. Um, but that's it, that's good to go. All sealed around the edges. Um, I will need to dome this one more time. trying to get it so that you can it's pretty hard to actually get it so that I can show you properly but yeah there's see the turtle in there so there's another one done just need a little bit of a you can see it's still a little bit lumpy on top, but I will sand that down and I will sort that out. But there's another one done.
that one's pretty cool. Okay, let's put that one under the lamp. Let me get the lamp to the side to work. There we go. And let's oil up the cat. So the cat is the one that I forgot to put the magnet in. So I will have to put the magnet on the back of that one. And now on to the last ones, which take a little bit more. So, oh, hang on, seal that up. The heart and the star. The heart mm, okay what I need to do is we I fill it and then I put the seal on the top and then I can put the oil inside there and then I put that in and that is the mucky bit is mucking around with that bit but that's way that goes on there. That's it. Got a hole there. That's okay. I can do that. No, I won't. I'm going to glue this one straight in. Because I've just realised I've got something that I don't need to stress about that. Okay, let's put that into there. And seal it. What I do have is gaps. Uh, yep, you can see that gap there. So I'll be able to put the resin in through the oil in through that. Um, uh, smooth that out. And smooth that one there out too. Now what resin do I put in this one? I'm not putting oh, resin. What do I put inside that one? Um, I've got another selection that I can pick from. I'm going to go with some, I think I need to put some bright colours in there, do I? Um, I don't want to go with the too dark a blue, so I might go with that blue in there. Yep. Uh, and it's red, so I might see if I can find a um, red glitter as well. But then I have micro beads. Oh, just small micro beads. And I think I've got some white small micro beads too. Okay, OK, 
couple of different sizes in there. So that's that one. This one though, <clears throat> where are they? I have a particular ID on these ones. And I'm just gonna, can I seal this one? Where did they go? I'm just looking for, it's not the ones I'm after. Right, yeah, that got that. Can I seal this one the same way? Is this going to let me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at this trying to get it on there and I realise that I haven't got it where you guys can see it. Okay. This one is not going to let me do it the way I want to do it. So, in here, I'm going to be popping some, up, some interesting little critters in here. Now, these were... <laughs> these are what I call Playboy bunnies, but... I think they use them as something else. They 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 they're demonstrated as something else in um, child movies. Uh, let me pick that up. Where did that just go? And I will pick it up, and you will see it very shortly. What I mean? They are to me. They are little Playboy bunnies. There's purple. And there's blue. Oops, that's way too many. <laughs> Oops, still want to take a couple more out. Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, do want to put in some. Put some bolder microbeads in there. And these are microbeads too. And then I have, I don't know what these are. I think these are hearts, but. There we go. Right, so those are now full. I just need to seal them up, then put the resin in. So sealing these up, same process as the others.
another two done. <laughs> so as you can see, these ones take a lot more work. Um, I have still got more to do with these guys because these ones actually need to be, well, they all need to be sanded. But these ones have got runs on them, so I've got to sand down and I think this one got my fingerprint on it. So these will all get sanded back um, and polished up. Um, but yeah, that'll be another two cover minders. Um, if anybody's interested in those once they're polished up, by all means let me know. But they're pretty cool. But yeah, so that one's just the glitter and that one has the micro beads and it's got the bunnies in it. Um, hang on, let's give you a bit of focus. So you got the micro beads in there. The bunnies. So that focus is not right, is it? Do do do. There we go. But yeah, they are pretty cool. It's pretty hard to show them on camera. They don't show properly on camera, unfortunately. But they are going to go and set properly. I won't touch these for another couple of days. And then I'll sand them and polish them up. And then they'll be all good to go. And I'll clean up this mess that you don't see outside of this square. <laughs> you see enough of a mess as it is. So guys, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you want to see more of me working with resin like this? Um, or what would you prefer? It takes quite a bit of getting my gear together to be able to do a resin pour. No, this is just silicon oil. Um, but, yeah, it's still good fun to do. Uh, and, and I will be continuing on with the Sophie and Toffee stuff anyway. Um, and I've got another big project. I've got to fi finish off my son's stuff. So uh, there's a little bit of resin in the bottom of that. So, guys, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment. Would you like some cover miners? If you would, let me know. Um, I do have an email address down below um, if you are interested in getting any cover lines. So, yeah, either the ones that I have done specifically today or just ask if you can have them for a colour range and I'm happy to do that. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of when I upload something that is out of the ordinary. And guys, thank you for watching and bye for now.